Hello, in this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the improvements I've made to player physics in the upcoming Ultra Engine. Now, this is based on the code from Leadworks Physics, um, but I've been able to make some cool uh, enhancements and improvements that I will show you in this video. First thing I'm going to show you up here, let's go up the stairs, and this board is hanging over the edge here, and this is just to demonstrate uh, that forces are being transferred from the player uh, to objects that, that they come in contact with. So let's just step out here slowly. Oh, I saw something move. Oh, and you see we just, um, we stepped on the edge of that and it p fell over the edge and it slapped us in the face comically as we were falling. Um, so yeah, the uh, the player will uh, apply forces to the world around them. Uh, here's uh, our stair climbing, which is very nice and smooth. They just go right up it without losing any horizontal inertia. So that's just nice. Uh, these blocks here, this demonstrates the step height. I can step on this small one and I just go right up it. And again, I'm not losing any inertia when I do that. This block is the maximum step height, and I just pop right up on that. And then this block is higher than the maximum step height, so I actually need to jump if I want to get up there. These ramps uh, show... Okay, well, if I stand on a ramp, I don't slide down it slowly. I just stay there as if it's as if I'm standing on horizontal ground because of the friction of my feet on the ground. And 45 degrees, we have 45 degrees set to be the maximum climb height. So we can still walk on this surface and it's just fine. But this surface here, this slope is too steep to stand on. So if we go over the edge, we just slide on down it. I think it's kind of cool how you have the little bit of inertia um, at the bottom that you go sliding across the floor. Whee! All right, what else have we got? Uh, this is this is a kind of geometry is typically problematic for a lot of player controllers because um, you'll end up like pushing yourself into the ground a lot of times with overhangs like this, but we can handle it, no, fine, no problem, it's just fine. And in here we have another example of the same same principle, it's just the one against the wall is a little bit more extreme. If we jump here, then it just kind of pushes us out and sideways a little bit, which is good. And here, oh, what's this? Now, I know what you're thinking. I'd really like to go in there, but how can a big person like me fit in a little tiny tunnel like that? And the answer is a revolutionary new gameplay mechanic called crouching. You just hold the C key and you can walk right in to this little tunnel. And then you let go of the C key and you stand back up. Best of all, if I hold the C key and walk in, now I've let go. You can't see my keyboard, but I've let go of the C key. I'm not pressing it at all. But I stay crouching because there's a ceiling above me and I can't stand up. However, as soon as I walk out here, again, not holding the C key, it just pops right up as soon as I am able to. And we can demonstrate the same thing again over here. Hold the C key and we can get a little bit further underneath here. And then we pop right back up when, as soon as there's nothing above our head. So that's it. Um, player physics is important because it affects the whole feel of the game. And I'm very happy to say that the physics here are easily as good as any AAA game that I've ever played. So I think you'll have a lot of fun with this in Ultra Engine which will be coming out uh, soon. Uh, I'm scheduling it for like 
beginning of December 2022 for the early access. So have fun with it.